Okay, so this is a cuff pec fly, and here we're targeting the clavicular fibers, the upper pec. Okay, setup consideration wise, you'll see I've got the pulley quite low. So as you can see with, with his pec insertion on the humerus here, when he drives that across his body, we've got the line of force perfect to put the, the tension on the upper part of the pec there. And everything lines up perfectly there. Okay, extend out. Okay, now to make this work, Sean has to depress and retract his scapula and pin them onto the bench. Okay, and as he comes forward, they have to remain in place. If you can lose that this time, Sean, you'll see. So if you bring your protraction forward, now we've got the tension on the front delt here and very little, in fact, the pec is flaccid there. So we need to keep that scapula depressed and retracted to enable the pec to take all the tension. So if you go back into that position, slide the shoulder blades down the bench, and we're thinking about shortening those pecs as we drive across the midline there. Okay, and again, we're targeting these clavicular fibers here. We certainly don't want to encourage the hands coming together at the front because that's only going to split the shoulder blades and protract them forward. So if you do a few reps for me now, Sean. From this position here, we pause and then we drive with as much contractile force as possible to shorten those pecs and out. Okay, and you'll notice that we've cuffed below the elbow here rather than the wrist and that's to move the tension and the load closer to the pec. Two more for me, Sean. Thanks. Good. Again, we're nailing those scapula tight and down on the bench. So that's a cuff chest fly targeting clavicular fibers.